Okay, so in this section we're going to set up our cells in order to input our values for volume and intensity and also set up some cells to put our graph into the training plan. So in order to start this what I'm going to do is just go up to the far left hand side and by doing that click on an entire row. Once I've got the row selected I'm going to put my cursor up on the insert button at the top toolbar and simply press insert every time I want a row. If I happen to insert too many just simply hit the delete button and I can delete that entire row. Now I'm going to label these cells so the first one I'm going to label as hours that's going to be calculated based on our volume which will represent as a percentage intensity will also represent as a percent and load which will be calculated as a combination of volume and intensity. This one I'll leave blank for our microcycles and then I might actually look at actual training here where we'll monitor volume, calculation of load and perhaps hours. I can change these later on got too many cells so I'll delete this cell. Now I can do a bit of formatting where I can group these cells, go up to merge and center. I can call this my planned training. This one will be my modeled graph which we'll create later and I'll probably open this up a little bit. And then this one here merge and center and call my actual training or monitored training. Also select all of these cells here and merge and center and just call this the quantification. As you can see it automatically rotates the text however if I want to change my rotation simply can go up to this shortcut button at the top and change the rotation so I can make it that way or back to rotating the text up. Okay, the other thing I can do is just a little bit of formatting where I can put some thick borders around each of these cells so simply going up into this little shortcut button that says borders, selecting thick border. I can also, for example, fit the text better into that cell by going up and hitting wrap text. I may want to line around these cells, so simply back to the borders button, select all borders, and that'll put smaller or thinner lines in. As you can see, I've lost the thick line so one of the things I can do is select those again, go up into borders, go right down to the bottom, more borders, which opens up a menu where I can select my thick line, click over and make that whole line a little bit thicker, hit OK. Now I've got my thick line back. So now I've set up the cells so that I can actually input volume and intensity, calculate hours and load, and create my model graph, which is what we'll do in the next few tutorials.